Governor Bill Lee's measure affecting thousands of Tennessee public school students undergoing even more changes today. Parents and even lawmakers still really trying to grasp exactly what this all means. New here at 530, State Capitol Newsroom reporter Chris Bungard looking at the latest changes to the education savings account and how it will impact Knox County Charter Schools. Once again inside the House chambers here, we are learning that Governor Bill Lee's ESA or voucher bill is changing again in hopes of attracting Votes. I'm excited that the uh, the rural community is now engaged in educational savings account. Republican House Speaker Glenn Cassida left it to the deputy speaker from rural Upper East Tennessee to talk about another round of changes for the governor's education savings account plan or ESA. The $25 million that has been allocated or has been proposed, what will happen is is that will stair step down and become funding for grants for failing schools that are not in the big four counties. Representative Matthew Hill says skeptical rural Republican lawmakers made the most recent changes to Governor Bill Lee's plan so those areas would get some help with the proposed grants to help failing schools there. The voucher portion of the ESA bill also now applies only to the state's four largest counties, but some Nashville parents tracking the changes remain unmoved. We're very concerned and confounded because this amendment, just, it, it, the bill keeps being amended and it's very confusing. We feel like that we're not in the know about a topic that really impacts our children. And most expect the Senate to pass whatever the House here comes up with concerning vouchers or the ESA bill. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard. Now, under the latest voucher part of the ESA bill, 5,000 students in the state's four largest counties would be eligible for up to $7,300 to use as they choose, but likely for private school tuition. That includes Knox County.